Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing Ava's 8 month update. Um, so Ava turns 8 months on the 22nd of November. I don't have her stats, I don't have her like her height or weight. She still is in um, a 4 size, um, size 4 in her nappies. Um, with me working full time it is predominantly disposables. We don't really do the cloth nappies. Um, my workload will be significantly less um once christmas is over so um, i hope to get back in, into um cloth and a little bit more in the daytime um as you can hear she makes lots of noise and she talks and she says mama and dada and yeah she like looks at you with this face like what are you doing she does a squinty face she does many many faces don't you? what's wrong you don't want to do this video is this child labor you don't want to be on it no so she's standing here on her own if you have her leaning against something she can stand no problem she'll kind of take little tiny steps along a, along a surface and um, what's funny is if I if we have her kind of up in our hands kind of pretending that she's walking she will take little tiny steps but she wants to let go. She's like a little daredevil. She just wants to let go. She doesn't want to hold on to you. Um, so yeah, so she's still kind of scooching along the floor. If it's on carpet, she tries on like tiles, but she just goes backwards um, from the motion of the, of the scooch, you know? Um, she has two teeth through, but there is her two top teeth are just about breaking through. I think they have broke through. It's impossible to see, and she won't let my finger in there. Um, so, but she has been teething pretty hard um, of late. So, as I said, she's screechy and shouty. Her sleep wise um, is so all over the place. Like one day she's very good at sleep, and the next day she's not so much. At night, um, she wakes up in the first couple of hours a lot. Um, she'd kind of wake up and search for her suitor, and um, then she'd go back to sleep. Um, her feeding wise is she has definitely she has a bottle in the morning, like an eight ounce bottle, a half five, and then she'll go to either of up. Uh, our mams while I'm at work and then or if at the weekend um we'll feed her a spoon feed like some sort of porridge or something and then about half an hour later she'll have a bottle and she'll drink probably around five ounces four or five ounces it really depends um of that bottle so then she'll have her lunch um usually some sort of like fruit puree or some sort of something anyway she'll have some sort of um lunch and um she will drink again for anywhere between four and six ounces after her lunch for her dinner she'll have some sort of um veg so um we'll do a veg and um she will then drink barely any uh, it's usually two to three ounces she'll drink at that and then her nighttime bottle is around half past seven quarter past seven and sometimes she'll drink all of that which is nine ounces but most of the time she'd only drink five six ounces so I'm not quite sure if that is good, if that is bad. I do know that food, like real food, is only supposed to be play until the first year and all of their, their kind of nutrients and stuff is supposed to come from their formula um, or breastfeeding, whichever you're doing. Um, so I'm, I'm just kind of conscious that I'm, we're overfeeding her real food and she's not getting enough bottle. Um, but yeah. <laughs> She's after seeing something. She wants to stand up against the high chairs here. Um, as far as baby led weaning goes, I try to do it myself at the weekends. I'd give her some food to eat. Like she likes avocado and toast. Um, so I do give her that. Um, I do sometimes hand her um, some like veg. Um, but she mainly is pure. She's spoon fed. Um, both of her parents feel more... Um, feel more comfortable doing it that way and that's fine you know as long as she's getting it if she likes it we'll go with it you know so yeah that is really it she's scooching she stands a lot she wants to constantly stand she doesn't want to be in her arms much she wants to be on the ground 
or standing. She has no attention span as babies don't. Everything is new and interesting. She can say mama and daddy. She can do clap handies, clap handies till daddy comes home. Seats in his pocket for Ava alone. She can do clap handies. She'll clap her hands. Won't you? You clap your hands. You can clap your hands. No, not today. Not today, mommy. Not today. So yeah, she'll clap her hands. Um, She'll just kind of be sitting there and you'll just see them. She'll just like clap them together. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. If you like it, give it a big old thumbs up. And I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye.